right? So when I first started watching, watching you, I was, there was a, there was a sense in which I was, I was, I was familiar with the, with the language that you spoke. I was familiar with what you were talking about because I, I had obsessively read Jung when I was in high school. Um, and so I was very familiar with the way he talked about like symbolism, right? In the, in, in the Jungian way that he did. But what I think when I really, but there was something different about the way you were talking about it, right? Than, than he was. And yeah, I, because I don't, I don't, I, I, on the other hand, don't read Jung. Yeah. Which people I, I don't, don't seem to like believe me, but it's just true. I don't know what to I don't say. think you'd like him, no. Like, I don't really know. I think you'd find it really, I think you would, if you read Jung, I'm imagining. Like, if you read Jung, it's like, it'd be interesting, but I don't think it would really be compelling. Um, Cause he'd be, he has some implicit horizons that I think are, well, it's it, what makes your work your work to me and not Jung's is actually when it came to this, right? And I think this starts to speak to the, also this, these moments of ecstasy, these moments of releasement, right? And, and I wanna talk about what's good about that, right? Um, when you said, no, it's like, I think it's when you talked about you know, the symbol, you know, if you, I think you were looking, it was it's some video where you were, you were talking about the symbol of something. And you said, look, the symbol is actually, um, the symbol is is one of the ways, or the, that picture is one of the ways that the pattern substantiates itself, right? The, the, the picture isn't the symbol, right? The, the, the picture, it just happened, I got this sense, so you didn't say this, but I got the sense, it's like, it's a condensed, it, it brought all the pieces enough in a, like a small enough space time, right, picture such that you could see the whole pattern in front of you, but it itself is just an instantiation in the pattern that happens in reality in over longer time frames. that if you could understand it, you could see those patterns. And yeah, that's a good way to understand it. That is that the, the symbols that appear to us more most clearly are those that are the most... <laughs> condense you could say like you said that they that they the word symbol actually means means two things that are thrown together and so there's this idea that symbolism itself is a bringing together of elements and so that you see them as one you see the pattern or the ordering of it yeah. um and so and so the symbols the more proper symbols you know let's say like an icon or you know a church building or something which is which we tend to think as symbolic rather than you know, your everyday life, which is also symbolic, but let's say the liturgical space or the sacred spaces, they condense it in, in a manner which is more accessible or makes it accessible to us. So, so we, we can kind of get it. And once you see the pattern, then it, it actually then, if you're sensitive, then it'll start to, to uh, let's say, bleed out into other aspects of your reality. And you, then you realize that, hey, you know, my body is also made that way. And my relationship with others also has that ha has similar patterns and you know our societies and our stories all of it is actually manifesting these these sacred patterns to a certain extent yeah and so the symbol is a is a is one instant of the pattern right it's like a little incarnation of a of a of a pre of an essence or a, a yeah and so then that's when I think that's when I really got it's like, oh, you're talking about you're actually talking about reality. Oh, where, yeah, the, that, the that, that might be the difference between me and you. Right? Yeah. yeah, it's not just psychological. Yeah. And so it really is the psychological is part of it. For sure, your psyche also has that shape. And it's really important because because we are human beings, our logos that they are we are we have reason and we we have consciousness therefore we are kind of we are the place where symbolism actually kind of happens but it's nonetheless is also happening in the world because we are the we're like the funnel through which the world you know has meaning uh and this is something which i'm not making up like this is something that i take from the church fathers especially yeah. saint maximus the confessor this idea that the man is the is the ultimate microcosm yeah. And that the entire cosmos, you know, condenses into into the human person, um, and it's we can understand it in a in a we can use cog cog sci to now to understand it, or do, can use theories of meaning and and the problem of of uh, of of emanation and complexity to now see that yes, conscious beings are like the funnel through which this potentiality that's out there, this kind of indefinite potentiality, comes in and then you know 
becomes uh becomes meaning becomes becomes a world you know? right okay so the, so i want to slow down there a little bit so the 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 <laughs> you said a bunch right there so the, the, the yeah sorry the, the 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 infinite potential the endless potential comes in and what you're saying is that the the psyche you could say is the place that it that it, the psyche is the place where that potential gathers into a world i mean it's not just the psyche it, it, it's the person it's, it's more person. embodied than just the psyche it's but but it is the person like the human person both in terms of mind but also in terms of acting out in the world that's why it's a it's pes, it's 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 a perspective you know you know and jordan talks about this all the time where the, the categories of being are actually categories of action they're not static yeah. categories the way even the way that plato tended to tend to think of uh of forms there's something off about that you know Saint maximus the confessor talks about how the the idea of things or the form and you know this the essence the way that the platonists talked about are actually also the end of things yeah. those two things together and so he kind of takes he takes a lot of aristotelian categories and platonic yeah. jams them into this thing which is logos which is it's also the reason the purpose and that makes it that brings it into the the, the human back into the human person because Ooh. those purposes come into come out come out of us or join in us you know and so the reason why we have a category called rock is a human reason but it's also totally objective it's not a subjective yeah. reason it's objective but it's a human reason it, right. it, it joins into us right. i don't know if that makes sense that makes sense it makes a lot of sense like it makes yeah. a whole lot of sense to me